Hello, this is John with Brainstorm Comics and Gaming, and this is this week's The Storm Watch. This is where we go over the top three DC books, independent books, and Marvel books that we think you should pay attention to for the coming week. Um, don't forget to LCS, like, comment, and subscribe, the local comic book shop, Brainstorm Comics and Gaming's YouTube channel, and let's get started with this week's DC Top 3. Coming in at number three this week is a familiar book that is Batman Fortnite Zero Point number six. This is the finale of the miniseries, um, so people will be very excited about that, obviously. Um, this is also the last code that people will need to add to their Fortnite game. And while I have not been reading because I'm not a Fortnite person, the people who are have told me that it is a very good story set in that world. But let's go to the solicits and see what they have to say about this issue. It all comes down to this. Batman and Catwoman have one chance to get back to their own world. But to do so, they'll have to return to the non-stop battle on the island and retrieve someone who is the key to their escape, Harley Quinn. But she's not going to go quietly. And who's behind the world-shattering events of our story? You'll find out, and the implications for both Fortnite and the DC Universe will be huge. Each print issue of Batman Fortnite Zero Point will include a redeemable code for bonus DC-themed Fortnite digital items inspired by the events in the comic. Fans who redeem all six codes will also unlock a new armored Batman Zero outfit for their Fortnite characters. So as I said, people will be very interested in this one. It sounds like it's going to have an impact on the game and on the DCU. So that is why that one has made our number three pick for the week. But let's turn to our number two pick. And that is Batman Secret Files, The Signal, number one. So this one has made the top three for the following reasons. Number one, um, we feel like this is a character with a lot of untapped potential. Um... He has assumed kind of a Robin-type role without being as one-dimensional as, as some of the Robins are. But also, he was created by Scott Snyder, and St Scott Snyder had a huge impact on the Batman universe and the way that Batman has been perceived over the last decade. But let's go to the solicits and see what it has to say. The signal comes back as Gotham City's daytime protector after his time with the Outsiders. But during his sabbatical from his hometown, everything about the city and the people closest to him changed. And the mystery of the white market, a deadly source of weapons being trafficked into Gotham that even Batman can't track down, will only push the signal further away from everything he knows and into a brand new world of danger. Writer Tony Patrick returns to pen a new chapter in the life of Duke Thomas alongside fan favorite Christian Deuce. And that is why... That one has made our top picks for this week. And that brings us to our number one choice for the DC books of this of this coming week. And this one was on our list when, with the first issue, and that is Nice House on the Lake number two. The reason this one made the top three or top three for DC this week is because James Tenyon IV is the writer. It had a phenomenal first issue that has lots of people excited about where the series go goes. And James Tinian has a very strong track record with horror, and with that first issue, we can be promised that the next one will be just as good, if not better. But let's go to see what the solicit says about this one. After the life-changing events of the previous issue, the guests at the nice house on the lake must decide their next steps. But there's not exactly perfect agreement about the situation. Who among them is ready to walk out the door, and who is content to simply float? So like I said, this one is pretty interesting, um, kind of like a suspense story, horror story, all at the same time. Um, so that's why this one has made our number one pick of the week. So let's go to the top three independent books. Coming in at number three is Fight Girls number one. This one has made the top three for two reasons. Number one, Frank Cho is the, is the writer and the artist. Um, he has a good track record on on both of those things. His art is very appealing. Um, also, AWA, the the company that's putting it out, is just a very good company putting out a lot of different quality books. I feel like they're ones that people kind of pass up, pass up on the on the shelf. Um, 
but they're definitely good reading, entertaining reads. Uh, so they're, they're ones that you should probably check out. Uh, but let's go to the solicit and see what this one has to say. 10 hard as nails women face off in an ancient contest of champions where the winner truly takes all. The title of Queen of the Galaxy. To win the challenge, each contestant must survive the hazards of the planet's harsh, harsh landscape, the ferocious predators on and below its surface, and their fellow contestants. This edition of the contest has a twist. One of the contestants is an infiltrator who has her eye on something bigger than the prize. Who is she, and what does she really want? Like I said, this one sounds kind of interesting. Um, I'm always a fan of Frank Cho, so I, I'm definitely going to check this one out. Coming in at number two is one from last week. Um, it was supposed to come out last week. It did not, so we, we bumped it into this one. And the number two pick this week is Tales Told and Techno Horror, number one. Like I said, this one was supposed to be out last week, so we're going to patch in our review for that one for, for this week. Um, as you have probably become aware, if you've listened to this uh, or watched this video over any length of time, I do have a soft spot for horror titles. Um, this one is a horror series, obviously from the title, or I said Technicolor, it's actually called Techno Horror, I'm sorry. Um, but um, So this is obviously a horror series, even from its title. Um, from reading the solicit and looking at it, I would say this probably won't be for everybody. If you have, have a strong stomach for, for the darker horror, though, um, I would definitely put this one on your pull list. If you're a fan of horror comics in general, I would put this one on your pull list. Um, but let's go to the solicit. So again, this one is Tales Told in Techna Horror, number one. It's a black caravan, imp caravan imprint. Tales Told and Techno Horror is a biennial horror series that blends the best horror subgenres, body shock to grindhouse and more. Each issue contains five short stories from the dark minds that brought you Providence of Madness, includes a mini pinup gallery of horrors. So like I said, you know, this may not be for everybody, um, but if you are a fan of the genre, um, I think this is one that you will probably want to add to your pull list. And that brings us to our number one pick for independence. And I think this is one that people should definitely keep an eye out on. Um, if you are an independent fan, if you're a Walking Dead fan, if you are a Robert Kirkman fan, this is my my number one pick for the week out of Marvel, DC, and independence, honestly. And that is Skybound X number one. So number one as to why this is being our number one pick Um Image has said they are not going to collect this into a graphic novel. Um, so this is your only opportunity to get the book is is through the individual issues. I'm sure they will do second printings, probably third printings, probably 18th printings at some point. But um, like I said, they are not collecting it. Um, also, Robert Kirkman is writing it. And as I just said, also, there's a new Walking Dead story focused on Rick Grimes. And also, if that does not appeal to you, there's also an Ultra Mega story and a Manifest Destiny story. So let's turn to the solicit, though. Celebrate a sensational 10 years of Skybound with a cavalcade of your, of your favorite creators for all new stories of your favorite series, past, present, and future. Each issue of this oversized weekly series will kick off with a new chapter of a serialized The Walking Dead stories, Rick Grimes 2000, by Robert Kirkman and Ryan Otley. In addition, we'll be debuting all new series and characters every issue, starting with the first appearance of the most requested Walking Dead character of all time, Clementine, star of the best-selling Telltale's The Walking Dead video game series. Did we mention new Ultra Mega and Manifest Destiny stories. If you want to know what to expect in Skybound's next 10 years, it all starts here. So it also dawns on me that it's probably Skybound 10 and not Skybound X. So, <laughs> so this is Skybound 10, number one. So let's move on to the Marvel picks for this week. And that, let's begin with number three, and that is Avengers number 46. So this makes the top three because number one, Jason Aaron is writing it. Jason Aaron has had a big impact on the Marvel Universe over the last decade or so. Um, this is the beginning of a new storyline. World War She-Hulk. Um, who can stop Jen is, is the real question behind this one. And also 
Disney Plus is going to have a show about uh, She-Hulk here soon. Uh, so they're definitely going to start pushing that character a little bit harder. So there, here's your opportunity to learn a little bit more about her. Let's turn to the solicit, however. After the shocking events of Enter the Phoenix, the Earth has become more fractured and volatile than ever, especially for the Avengers. Once She-Hulk is declared a global menace, Russia's mightiest heroes, the Winter Guard, are tasked with bringing Jen to justice to face a fate no Hulk could hope to endure. So like I said, Marvel obviously has a lot of uh, plans for, for, for Jen Walters and... Um, so this is a good opportunity to find out a little bit more about her. Let's turn to our second pick of the week, though, and that is Extreme Carnage Alpha. This one is on the list because Philip Kennedy Johnson is a writer. Is the writer? Um, he is quickly growing in in stature in the comic community for his writing. He's doing a great run over at DC. Um, also, this has lots of symbiotes in it, so if you're a Venom fan, this is a good one for you. And also, this ties in to kind of like the aftermath of King in Black. So if you've read that series, you're going to want to pull this one aside and check this one out as well. Let's check the, out the solicit, though, and see what's going on. Violence runs in the family as the dust continues to settle after the species redefining King in Black saga Eddie Brock and his son Dylan won't be the only ones learning to adjust to a new normal. Collectively called the Life Foundation, symbiotes Scream, Phage, Riot, Lasher, and Agony have tried to reconcile the sometimes noble intentions of their hosts with their often bloodthirsty impulses. But the Life Foundation symbiotes aren't the only ones with a part to play in this story, and they aren't the only symbiotes who find themselves reinvented after King and Black. They have an older sibling who may have re been reinvented in his own right. Carnage. So this is the first part of, I think it's like a five-part, six-part storyline. Um, sounds like it should be really good. Um, like I said, if you are a fan of Carnage, um, Venom, any of those characters. Also, much like I just said about the She-Hulk thing, um, Carnage and Venom are, are hitting the movies here soon. Um, so this is a good one to check out. And that brings us to our number one pick of the week, and that is X-Men number one. Um, Jonathan Hickman has been redefining the X-Men over the last couple of years. Uh, he recently left X-Men, which opened the door for Jerry Dugan to take over. Um, this is a new era with a new team, and it also starts the reign of X period of the X-Men. But let's go to the solicit and see what it has to say. These X-Men are fearless. The heroes of Krakoa are here to save the planet. Things might be complicated between the nation of Krakoa and the rest of the world, but the X-Men, but to the X-Men, things are simple. You do what's right, you protect those who need protecting, and you save the world we all share. Cyclops, Marvel Girl, Sunfire, Rogue, Wolverine, Sink, Polaris are the chosen champions of mutant kind, and they will not shrink from any battle for their home planet. Writer Jerry Dugan reteams with superstar artist Pepe Larraz to chart the course of the X-Men in a world of the reign of X. So X-Men have definitely gone through a resurgence over the last couple of years. Um, as you, if you've been watching Turning the Page, you probably heard me say in our Eisner Award picks um, that I, I would say that um, Jonathan Hickman deserved, deserved the writer of the year just because he has kind of saved the X-Men from, from the depths of despair where they were. Um, this is a new era, new turn. Um, Jonathan Hickman is still the showrunner, so to speak, tell, like laying the foundation for where the X-Men are to go. Um, so that's why this one has made our number one pick of the week. So hopefully you enjoyed the content in this episode. Uh, don't forget to LCS, like, comment, and subscribe to the Brainstorm Comics and Gaming, your local comic book shop's YouTube channel. Um, also, don't forget that we have two stores here in... in Maryland. We have one in downtown Frederick. Um, if you're looking for a day trip along with a lot of great things to do, I would recommend the downtown Frederick location. Uh, if you're looking for a more variety, more comic books to look through, lots of back issues, I would I would advise to go to our Walkersville location. We have 4,000 square feet out there. We have over 100,000 comics. And it's just a great place to hang out for a couple hours and find some books you're looking for. So again, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time. Have a good day.